Hey, how's it going everybody? I'm really excited today to bring you a song by the Yeah Yeah Yeahs called Heads Will Roll. Uh, I think one of my favorite songs. I, I think most people would tell you that this is more of an electronic song and maybe wouldn't sound very good on the acoustic guitar. Uh, but actually, it sound, I think it sounds really good on the acoustic guitar. Um, so I'm going to show you the version that I play. Actually, I'm going to show you two different versions. Uh, I'm going to show you a, a bar chord version, which really, if you know bar chords, it's not too bad. It's only going to be four or five chords. Um, the bar chords sound kind of gnarly, but they're actually shapes that you know, so it's not going to be too bad that way. Um, at the end, I'll also show you a, a version where we put the capo on number four, and we play a, a very easy uh, version with only one bar chord. Okay, So I'll show you two different versions. Everybody should be able to play this, beginners or more intermediate players. Uh, it's not too bad, and I think it sounds really nice on the acoustic guitar. So, um, hope you'll agree. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and start. Here it comes. All right, for the chords here, we're going to start off with an E bar chord. Okay, so you're barring the seventh and ninth frets, making a B shape. So think of your B shape down here, where you're barring the second and, and fourth frets with your your first and third finger. Slide all that down to the seventh and ninth frets. Get an E bar chord, and then slide that whole chord shape up one fret to where you're barring the 6th and 8th frets E flat A flat minor is the third chord so you're barring the 4th fret with your first finger and then your last two fingers are on the 5th and 4th strings of the 6th fret A flat minor so it sounds like a gnarly chord but it's a chord shape you, sh you probably should know um, so if you think of F sharp minor up here on the second and fourth frets, just if you make an F sharp minor, which is a chord you probably know, slide that down two frets and get your A flat minor. Okay, so the, the first part of the song starts like this. E to E flat to A flat minor. And then it repeats. E to E flat to A flat minor. Okay, and then we're gonna switch our chord progression here to a D flat which is again, it's gonna be the, the B chord shape that you know. Take the B, slide it down two frets, and you have a fourth, that you're on the fourth and sixth frets with a, your B chord shape. D flat to an F sharp. This one looks just like an F. So you know an F shape, which is this, barring the first fret. Take your F shape and slide it down one fret. And you've got an F sharp. And the final chord in this transition is going to be going back to that chord you already know, which is an A-flat minor. Barring the 4th fret, using your last two fingers on the 5th and 4th strings of the 6th fret. Okay, so the last three chords in that transition, just to review, are D-flat, F-sharp, A-flat minor. And then we repeat it, and we go D-flat to F-sharp, A-flat minor. Okay, so now playing the whole intro together. Sounds like this. E to E flat, A flat minor. And then repeat it. E to E flat, A flat minor. Then go to the other chord transition. D flat to F sharp, A flat minor. And then repeat. D flat to F sharp, A flat minor. All right? So if you have that chord transition and you get that down, that's most of the song. That's almost the whole song right there, okay? So it's not too bad, it's just the names of the chords are, are names that maybe you're not that familiar with, but um, it's shapes that you know. So it's not too hard if you just practice it a little bit. Okay, so let's count through the timing. I want you to get, be able to get the timing right here on the chords. So for the E, it goes one, two, and then the E flat, three, four, and then you go to the A flat minor. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Then you go to the D flat. One, two, F sharp, F sharp, three, four, A flat minor. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, let's count through it again. One, two, three, four, 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 one, two, three, four. All right. 
Okay, so now we have the chords and we have um, the timing. So now we can put words with it. So it sounds like this. Off, off with your head. Dance, dance till you're dead. Heads will roll, heads will roll. Heads will roll on the floor. Glitter on the wet streets. Shiver rolls everything. So let's take a closer look at some of the strumming that I did right there. So on that first part, you're going off, off with the head. Dance, dance till you're dead. So that's pretty straightforward. That's just one strum on each chord, okay? Then when we start glitter on the wet streets, so I start strumming there, and what I'm playing is down, 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 up, down, up, up, down. Okay, so that brings us to the part where they go, the men cry out, the girls cry out, the men cry out, the girls cry out. So what they're doing during that part is they're picking out notes on the electric guitar way up the neck. So we kind of have to make something up here. We're kind of ad lib. What I hear in there is I hear an A flat minor, the chord we've been playing, to an F sharp, which is another chord that we've been playing. So I just go back and forth between A flat minor to F sharp. And I just do down up, down up, down up, down up, down up, strumming the whole way. So it sounds like this. The men cry out, the girls cry out, the men cry out, the girls cry out, the men cry out, oh no. The men cry out, the girls cry out, the men cry out, the girls cry out, the men cry out, oh no. Off, off with the heads. Dance, dance till you're dead. The heads will roll, heads will roll, heads will roll. So we lead from that, um, the men cry out, the girls cry out, the men cry out, the girls cry out, back to another chorus. So off, off with your head. Dance, dance till you're dead. Okay, so we play that. And then we go into this part where it says, looking glass, take the past, shut your eyes. So it's kind of like a little bridge. So the main thing, you're playing the same chords. The main thing to remember here is, um, you're going to be doing an E to an E flat to an A flat minor, and you just stay on that those that that chord transition for the whole time. All right, you don't go to these other these last three chords in the transition. You just go E to E flat A flat minor. Okay, so it sounds like this. Looking glass, take the past, shut your eyes. You Okay, so uh, you repeat that off, off with their heads, that chorus part, over and over again at the end. So that's about all there is to it, okay? All right, so now if you want to play a, sim a little bit simpler version of this song, which still sounds pretty good, I put a capo on number four here. So make sure you do that. Um, we're going to start off, the first chord is going to be a C. Second chord is going to be a B. Third chord is going to be an E minor. Okay, so C to B to E minor. So we start off the song with one strum on each one of those chords. We go off, off with your head. 
dance, dance till you're dead. All right, and then we're gonna we're gonna do we're gonna add three additional chords here. We're gonna go A to D to E minor. A to D to E minor. Okay. So the whole the whole chord transition sounds like this. Off, off with your head. C to B to E minor. A to D, E minor. A to D, E minor. All right? Off, off with your head. Dance, dance till you're dead. Heads will roll, heads will roll. Heads will roll on the floor. Stick with that chord transition. Glitter on the wet streets Silver over everything The glitter's all wet You're all chrome Okay? Alright, so the strumming I'm using on the C Down, down To the B Down, up, down And then to the E minor Up, up, down, down, up, down, up Back to the C Down, down to the B down, up, down, to the E minor, up, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up, and switch the other chord transition, down, 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 up, down, up, up, down. So once we get to the part where it says the men cry out, the girls cry out, the men cry out, the girls cry out. So there we're just going to be going E minor to D. Back and forth and the strumming's going to be down up, down up, down up, down up, down up, down up, okay? So it sounds like this. The men cry out, the girls cry out, the men cry out, the girls cry out, the men cry out. Oh no. Come to this part where it goes looking glass take the path so that's kind of a bridge <clears throat> so that's kind of a bridge section here um so what we're going to be doing is we're going to we're going to be repeating c to b to e minor for that whole part okay so you leave out that a to d to e minor transition that you do at the end you leave that out so it's just going to be c to b to e minor the whole way through that part okay so it sounds like this looking 